In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the features of the Easy GUI Visual Designer. Let's look at some basics and see how we can put controls on our forms and design them. To be able to add controls, you simply go over to the Project Palette window and you have two tabs, Project and Controls. You click on the Controls tab and you get a number of tools for working with the controls. First of all, you can select the controls from the toolbar. You can scroll through, and there's a number of controls that are out of view here. So you can see all the different controls that are supported. If you want to auto scroll it, you just click the checkbox there, and you can auto scroll the control list. Create control, you simply click on the one that you want to create, go over to your form. You draw it, that's it. You've created a control. If you want to create multiple controls of the same type, one after the other, you can do it by going over and clicking on the repeat draw checkbox. Now, when you check a control, it's in repeat draw mode. I can draw control after control after control. Now I can turn that off. Now we're back to normal. Next thing we want to look at is when you have multiple controls on a form, how we can work with multiple controls. We do that by using the control key. Holding the control key down, we can select one control. And then we can hold it down and continue to select controls. And now we have a group of controls that are selected. You'll notice that the first one I selected with the control key down has a slightly different color in the drag handles. That's because it's considered the first or key control. The reason why this is important is, is that we can manipulate these controls as a group. For example, we can go to the group menu. And here we can say set the size. So we're going to set the entire group to the size of the first control. Now they're all the same size. We have a number of different options on the group menu. We can align the controls in a variety of ways. We can center them. And we can even have plugins to manipulate the controls as a group. And you can write your own plugins and compile them as DLLs. You can drag the controls as a group. See how smooth and clean that is? You can drag dozens, if not hundreds, of controls quickly and smoothly with no flicker and this allows you to work with your controls quickly and easily on the forms that you design. So the next thing we want to look at is, is how do we set the properties for a control. Let's get rid of the extra controls. We don't need them. So we're going to select them and I can press the delete key and delete a bunch of controls as a group. Now we have one control. Let's look at this one control here. There's two ways to access the properties of a control. The first is to go over to the Fast Property property list over here in the Project Palette window. And here a number of properties can be quickly selected. So for example, I can change the size of the uh, or position of the control. Just press enter. I can move it, change its size. I can change its text. And so forth. There are a lot more properties than can be displayed in this little property list. And so to have more uh, advanced control of the properties of a control, we can display the property dialog. You can do it two ways. You can either click on the button for custom and display it, or you can double click the control itself. And once you double click it, you display the property dialog for that particular control type. 
now you here you here have all the properties that you can select. There's many different options. We won't go into all of them right now. We can even define certain events that the control needs to support. We can change its font and so forth. And one of the uh, really exciting new features is the new auto resize engine where you can actually select properties to control where the control moves or sizes itself when the parent form is resized. And so I can select that and I can have it automatically scale. Watch what happens. We're going to make our form a little smaller here. And we're going to go into test mode. And notice when I resize the form, the control is automatically resizing itself and scaling it both vertically and horizontally. And that was done by setting the resize properties as we can see down here. I set it to scale both horizontally and vertically. I can lock it to different positions on the form and so forth and it allows you a lot of flexibility in forcing the control to automatically resize when the parent form resizes. Well, There's a number of other features here. For example, we can set the font for a control. We can select a custom font and you can also select one of the predefined fonts and there's 10 predefined fonts that are already built in. And you just move your mouse over each of the defined fonts and you can see what it is currently set to. So we can click that and now we have different font on our control. want to copy a control you can right click it and select copy control and then paste it and you have three ch choices in pasting you can paste offset paste in the exact same position or paste the controls cascaded so we're going to paste offset and you can actually select multiple controls remember with the control key down right click copy controls and we can paste them and paste them as a group so this makes it very easy to work with your controls to lay them out exactly the way you want so we have a quick overview of how to put controls and define them on your forms even your parent form can have its own properties. You just double click any white space on the form itself and the form has its own property dialog. You can even add a menu. And then you have a menu editor where you can turn around and add items, move them around and so forth. I'm going to turn that off for now. The last thing you want to look at is colors. The designer works with a palette of colors for a project rather than allowing you to custom select any color that you want. Now you can define those colors, or at least some of them, uh, for each project so you have a, a unique palette for each project. And usually that works with most situations because in most situations you only have a select number of colors you want to work with. So for example if I double click the parent form, I can click background color this shows you the palette that is available. Now in the palette there's really three groups of controls, colors, and form colors. First is 32 predefined colors and they're based on the DOS basic colors that we're all familiar with. And Then you have 16 colors and then a pastel version of those 16 colors which are commonly used colors. You have four system colors, which are basically you'll use whatever the system has defined for that color. And also, here's eight custom colors that you can define for your project palette unique to your project. And EasyGUI has its own pattern library. So these nice little 3D patterns can be used 
to use for backgrounds or controls and so forth. And you can actually load in custom uh, pattern libraries as well. And so we can select a color. And now our form has a color. And controls can also have colors as well. And we'll put a label control. And we're going to define its colors. And we're going to make it our blue text on a very light blue background. We're going to put a border, flat edge. And we want to give it a nice font. So now we have a label control with foreground background colors and we can define its font. So this allows you to customize your controls any way that you want. Well that's it for our first walkthrough of the EasyGui Visual Designer. We have more videos coming so please come and check them out. Thank you.